So today's March Meet the Maker is all about time. So I wanted to show you a quick firing in the kiln. And um, most people um, who've never done enameling before won't realise that when things go in the kiln, they only go in for about a minute to a minute and a half each firing. So it's a really exciting process because quite quickly you'll see a complete transformation. So this little piece here has got a whole um, mixture of different opaque enamels on it um, that I'm going to pop in the kiln. So I'm going to just move this up here and you'll be able to see me pop it in. So I've got my safety specs on, my firing fork and I'm going to pop it into the kiln now. Okay, there we go. So it's in. And um, I'm not a very good um, timekeeper, but generally speaking, things like this will be fine um, after about a minute. Um, sometimes you want to go in for a bit longer, depending on what you're doing, and if you've got particular decoration or particular techniques in mind that need um, a little bit longer. And other times you want to be really strict with that minute because you don't want to overcook something. Um, you don't want to lose definition on a stencil, for example or you don't want some um, decoration to melt too far, spread too far. So, um, as I say that, I have got no idea how long this has been in for, um, but what we're looking for is a nice smooth surface, okay? So, um, nothing uh, too bumpy um, for this on this occasion, and not the burnt sugar effect. So these are some pieces here that I have fired um, this afternoon, and they're nice and shiny and smooth and that's the sort of thing we want we want something shiny we don't want any burnt sugar if it's burnt sugar it needs to go back in the kiln so hopefully i'm not sure how well these are coming out hopefully because the sun I'm not sure where the sun is today now but um here are some here so okay let's have a look and see where we might be with this piece okay so here we go okay now Straight away, I can see it's nice and shiny, which is what we want. And you'll notice that it's very dark. And this is because um, the colors come out looking so, so dark. And then as it cools, the color comes back, okay? So I often say to students, please don't panic. Okay, your piece will transform. And as it cools, the colors will come out again. And slowly, you can see that we've got some reds, some oranges um, that are starting to come out more and uh, you can see them more clearly. Slowly, as it cools, hopefully. Just there, can you see? Starting to come through. And we've got a nice shine on the piece there, which is what we're looking for. So that's the magic, really. Every time it goes in, it changes. And you can do layers and layers and layers until you're happy with the piece. Um, so that's one of the reasons I love it so that you get quick transformation. All right, I'm gonna pop this piece down over here, out of the way. Okay, hope you found that interesting. Thanks, bye.